My name is David Wheeler. I live in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, with my wife, Francine, and our son, Nate. I am also the father of another son. Our son, Ben, was six in December of 2012. His birthday is in September. He was a bright, energetic, spirited, loving boy who rushed headlong through life the way six-year-old boys so often do. He found joy in everyone and everything. He and his older brother filled our house with the noise of at least four children. And for the past 22 months, our house has been so, so quiet. In part, because of a dangerously casual attitude about the safety and security of firearms in the home. After Ben was murdered in his classroom at Sandy Hook Elementary School, along with his reading partner, his best recess buddy, the little girl who sat next to him to try to help him stay quiet during class, she wasn't always successful. Sixteen more of his classmates, six of his teachers and administrators. After that happened, I had to, I had to try to make sense of what seemed utterly senseless. And what I discovered as I began my layman's journey was a problem so multifaceted, so enormous, and so pervasive that nothing less than a change in our culture and our society can begin to address this. And I can't, you know, I can't help but wonder how different my family's life would be today if there had been a different attitude toward the responsibility of keeping firearms secure in a particular home a mile away from mine. What I like very much about the Brady Center's Ask campaign is this. The acknowledgement that the responsibility is ours to change the way we consider these products, to change the way we consider this issue, just as we have so many times before with other consumer products that enter our daily lives. So many times we have changed the way we think about things to prevent people from dying needlessly. So many times we as a society have done what is, in my opinion, it's really the only job we're here to do to take care of each other. We're not here to protect our stuff. We're not here to keep other people from finding joy. We're here to take care of each other. Who in their right mind could possibly look at the number of innocent lives lost because a child found a parent's or another adult's gun and think, oh, that's okay, that's fine, I can live with that, that's good. Who could do this? I think about the dominoes that had to line up that particular Friday morning, that chilly December morning, all of those very specific dominoes that had to line up for them to fall the way they did. And when I look at that, what I see is the spaces in between where someone could have stopped that because these things do not happen in a vacuum. They do not. Asking about the presence and the security of firearms in the homes where our children live and play is the place where we can start to change that, to work toward that future where no child dies from a parent's gun. 
Putting a spotlight on any mistakenly casual attitude will do nothing but reduce the number of accidental or otherwise preventable deaths in this country. It will do it, and we have to start now.